Alright guys, we are here at the Spotless 179. That's a classic car over there, but it's going kind of slow. Anyway, we are here at the Spotless 179 car wash in Jefferson City. It's been a long time since I checked up on this place. I'm back here in town, so I figured it would be a good time to do it. This has always kind of felt like my home car wash, because it's really close to the house where I grew up. So we'll go back here to the automatic bays. If the one on the right is working, it's the better of the two. They put up some new signage since last time. Let's see if this one's working today. You can see some of the new signage over there. And on here. So we'll make item selection. We'll get the deluxe for eight. Okay, and it took the card. So let's enter the wash. Good old classic DNS 5000. I like this system. Now we'll hit the spot. There we go. Now we're going to start with pre soap. By the way, sorry, I am going to have to leave the car on today. Uh, having a problem with it stalling, so I don't want to get stuck in the bay. Very nice coating of pre-soak. Literally can't even see out the front at all. Putting in for another pass up. to clear coat protectant. We're going to get another high pressure rinse.
This is probably our spot for your rinse here. Oh, yep, it even says it on the signage. So. DNS 5000 Automatic Car Wash. That's what it says up there if it's hard to read through all the water. That is it. Now it is time to exit the bay. Now there are no built-in dryers on this one. Perfectly reasonable, especially for $8. That's a very good buy. There is a standalone dryer back over there, if you desire. Oh look, someone else getting a wash right in there. So now what I'm going to do is uh, vacuum out my car here. I don't know if I'm parking the right way, but there's not too many people here. You know, I just finished vacuuming the car here, and uh, even though I don't really need it, the standalone dryer is so cool, I thought I might as well just do it anyway, just to get it on video again, because it's been so long. You can see the dryer has the DNS logo on it. Well, maybe you can't because it's so bright, but uh, it has a DNS logo on it. And then over here, this is what the pay station looks like. So now we'll go ahead and dry off the car with our standalone dryer. With spot-free water, you don't really need to do this. It's just sort of a superficial thing and makes you feel like the car is cleaner. You can see we have 35 seconds of dryer time remaining. It's doing an okay job getting the water off the front. Uh, it's a little bit limited. 25 seconds. never seen a standalone dryer at a car wash before. I'm not sure what possessed the people that owned it to put this here instead of just sticking some dryers on the two automatic bays over there. Six seconds, five, four, now you can see the logo a little better. Zero. And it keeps running when the timer goes out. I forgot about that little quirk. The owner actually used to have batting cages over here. I don't know whatever happened to those. But in any case, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, as always. And that is it.